Hey, in this tutorial, I'll cover how to create time series charts within Google Data Studio. And this is an excerpt from my course, Data Analysis the Lazy Way. Enjoy. Now that we've made a couple pretty basic tables, let's move on to a little bit sexier charts. Um, you know, the visualizations that I really enjoy making and people really enjoy viewing. It's a great way to digest data, much, much better than a wall of, of numbers. So Data Studio has a great concept of pages. So if you have raw tables on one page, you can make another page that's just for specific charts. Um, and let's make a big time series here. Maybe let's view something like uh, retweets versus favorites over time or something, something like that. Cool, so the data source, let's use the Blockspring data source. Uh, Great thing with time series, you can set your date range dimension, uh, which lets you do a bunch of really amazing filtering. Uh, so filtering out like just the last week or the last month or a custom date range. But to do that, you have to set your, which date range do you want to filter? So let's say created at, which is when the tweet was created. Um, again, let's use that as our time dimension. So you can see we're now looking at like recent history here versus uh, when users were created. Um, and let's look at, instead of looking at follower count, let's look at, uh, let's look at retweet count. And let's also add a second metric. Let's look at favorite count. So we can see that retweets is, is a little bit higher, well, significantly higher in this, in this range, but some days it's, it's kind of stacked. So let's also, let's do something here with date ranges. So you can make a custom date range, which this, this just melts my heart. The idea that they had the foresight to build in automated last seven days, 14 days, 28 days, 30 days, today, yesterday, all of these date ranges that we'd previously set up in the sheet in that options tab, they just have here. So you don't need to bother um, with really any of that, if your goal is to just get this chart. Um, so let's say the last 14 days, including today. And then this will always, when you open the, if you, you know, you can see here, we don't have any data after August 22nd, that's okay. Um, anytime you open this, it will automatically refresh with the last 14 days data. So if you want like, rolling 30 days, for example, you can just keep that set and it will always update. Really, really clean feature. Um, but what we can also do here is do the same filtering on reports that you did before. So for example, if we wanted to exclude tweets that were retweets, you could say uh, starts exclude if it starts with retweet and say call that no retweets and that changes the data a little bit not too much but i think you get the picture you can really play around with um, the date range that you want to look at you can display unlimited metrics here um, but it all is really keyed up on making sure that you have this date range dimension set for your chart. 